Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com talking about the safe and stable climate of 1935. On August 10, 1935, more than a quarter of the United States was above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The three hottest August 10ths were 1935, 1936, and 1937. Recent August 10ths have been among the coolest on record. On August 10, 1935, Arizona, South Dakota, Texas, Arkansas, California, and Louisiana were all over 110 degrees. A total of 25 states were over 100 degrees. And more than 80% of the country was over 90 degrees. We don't get heat like the 1930s anymore in the United States. It was record hot in Texas on August 10, 1935, and Ohio was flooded. California was record hot that day, and forest fires were sweeping through the mountains. Kansas was record hot that day, with temperatures over 110 degrees. The percentage of the United States, which gets over 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or 35 degrees Celsius, sometime during the year, has plummeted since the 1930s. This year has had the least widespread heat on record in the United States, and the most widespread heat was in 1931. 1935 wasn't one of the hottest years of the 1930s, but it was much hotter than anything we've experienced recently. Four weeks after the record heat of August 10, 1935, came the most intense hurricane in U.S. history. This train in the Florida Keys was blown tens of meters off the track by 200 mile per hour winds. The train was attempting to rescue hundreds of veterans from a Veterans Administration hospital. And a few months earlier, in April of 1935, came the worst dust storms in U.S. history. Texas was literally covered with dust in April 1935. But May of 1935 was the coldest May of the last century in the United States. This record cold came a year after the hottest May on record in the United States in 1934. The record cold May of 1935 brought world record rainfall to Texas. On May 31, 1935, Woodward Ranch, Texas received 22 inches of rain in less than three hours. And that broke the rainfall record which had been set a few hours earlier in Colorado. On May 30, 1935, two locations in eastern Colorado received almost 23 inches of rain in four hours. And this led to the worst flooding in Nebraska's history, which killed hundreds of people. Weather was much more extreme in the past when carbon dioxide levels were lower. But some very rich and powerful people who want to seize control of the energy supply are demonizing fossil fuels via propaganda about carbon dioxide. Before I finish up, I want to talk about one more thing which was going on in 1935. The large glaciers of Alaska were shrinking by many miles per year. Yet NASA says that 1935 was one of the coldest years on record. For climate alarmists, cold is hot and up is down. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this fraud for the past 13 years. You can visit him, Curier, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.